Hey guys, this is Nitro Bex. Uh, cloud chasing lesson number three. We're going to talk about them batteries. Um, one of the most common things I get, somebody will walk in with a setup similar to this. Mouth hit it, of course, and go, I want to blow clouds. What kind of mod do I need? My first question to them is, what battery are you running? And oftentimes, get ready to cringe, they will do this. Yeah, that's a pink Samsung ICR. Yeah, not a really good choice for cloud chasing batteries there. So, <laughs> I'm perfectly well within the amp limits on this setup. Um, but let's talk about batteries, let's talk about what they are, and talk about some differences. So normally with uh, cloud chasing, if you're running a mech, you're going to want to run an IMR or a hybrid style battery. Some good ones currently are the Sony series the Orbtronics, uh, batteries such as that. Now, one thing you got to understand is these are two different Sony batteries. The bottom one's a VTC-3, the top one's a VTC-5. They have different numbers on them, and we'll cover those in a minute. But at its core, much like this EFES that says it's 35 amps, all batteries lie. Okay, um, So... What numbers are we looking at when we look at a battery? Well, your MA, which isn't actually a thing, it's milliamp hours, but um, your milliamp hours is how long the battery will last. To draw an analogy, think about that as how much fuel is in your race car. Okay. Especially if you're going to comp, you don't need a full gas tank. That's just extra weight that gets in your way to get you from, you know, holding you back from getting across the finish line. Um, when I go to comp, a lot of times I'll choose a VTC-3, which is 1,600 milliamp hours, over a VTC-5, which is 2,500 milliamp hours. Okay. We'll cover why here in a couple minutes. Um, your nominal voltage, unless you're dealing with like a LiPo 4 cell or something like that, is always going to be 3.7, 4.2 full charge. Don't go below 3. Point, don't go below full charge because you're at a comp. But yeah, uh, never discharge it below around about 3.4. Most people pull theirs out around about 3.6 or 3.7. Okay. Um, let's finally move to a real mod. This is going to be the vanilla with the um, zenith on it with a wide bore. Enough of that K-Fun action. And this is where you'll start getting 90 degree shots when I'm trying to show off cloud size. So, first number, milliamp hours, that's how much gas is in the gas tank. Um, the next number is going to be your amp limit. Not all batteries advertise their amp limit. Sometimes you have to calculate it, sometimes you have to look it up. Your amp limit, think of that as like uh, an RPM limiter. Your engine can only turn so fast. That's what your amp limit is. Now, when cloud chasing, the length of your hit matters because batteries have both a continuous amp limit and a burst amp limit and the burst time period is different for different batteries you have to look this up and that number varies greatly um, for
for example, the battery I have in here is a 30 amp battery, a 30 amp continuous battery. It can push up over that in very, very short bursts. Um, it talks about voltage. It's all going to be the same unless you're dealing with a completely different chemistry. And if you're dealing with a different chemistry than um, a uh, IMR battery or a hybrid battery, there's probably either A, you know more than what's going on, or B, you should look at moving to a IMR or a hybrid battery. The last number is normally not talked about. It used to be brought up a whole lot more, especially when AWs were um, the very hot battery. Everybody needed an AW for their pro very back in the day. Um, it's the C rating. The C rating on the battery is how fast it can discharge the battery. And that's the reason I choose the VTC3s over the VTC5s for comp, because the VTC3s have a higher C rating. Okay, they can discharge faster. Think of that as the clutch on your race car. Okay, the higher it can discharge, the faster it can get the power to the uh, powertrain, the more vapor you get. Now, all manufacturers lie about their specs. Uh, you know, you can pick up this EFS that says it's a 35 amp battery. It might pulse to 35, but it's not a continuous 35. That has been proven. Um, you know, where so something like this Sony VTC3 is going to say it's a 18650 3.7 volt. 1600 milliamp and if I put it on the really expensive test rig it would probably come out to 1400 milliamp hours okay they all lie about the specs a little bit so when setting up your rig when testing it out before you even look at the coil builds go through do your math put yourself a little bit of buffer room in there because the last thing you want to do is over discharge a battery. Now, normally when you're running with 30 amp batteries, unless you're doing some insanely crazy build, which is probably too hot to inhale off of anyhow, you're going to be within the amp limits. We will cover specifically those numbers in a different chapter. But before looking at your mod, which will be the ne next episode, uh, the switch style we'll start talking about. Um, before looking at your mod, make sure you're not carrying around Samsung ICR batteries that have like a 4 amp limit. Because if you get go up to somebody have them build you a coil or you build a coil that's too low, you're going to find out what the problem with ICR batteries is. See you next time for uh, Switch Styles.